Thanks for staying with us. The death toll in the Marian Hill mass shooting in KwaZulu Natal has now increased to seven. The seventh victim passed away this morning in a hospital. Police are investigating this incident where people were shot in cold blood at a tuck shop last night. SABC News reporter Fusi Kumalo joins us now live from Marian Hill to give us a live update. Fusi, it's great to have you back on the program. So what's the latest now on the ground? Yes, good morning, Mkolisi. Yes, indeed, we are still here outside this uh, uh, liquor establishment. Uh, we are told that uh, the seven people uh, died here. The seventh one died at a hospital. He succumbed uh, to his injuries as I'm stepping out of the shot. So that Tubab Matebo, we are showing you the MEC for Transport, uh, Community Safety and Liaison in the province of Guazu Natal, Pekineliswa, and Konyini, together with the provincial uh, commissioner, Ntlantlam Kwanazi. They are here assessing uh, this uh, area after or following the deadly shooting uh, that left or claimed uh, seven lives. As you can see, the bottles of, of liquor still lie around here in this uh, establishment as um, we are trying to follow them so that they are here. We are told that no one has been arrested as yet. Uh, the MEC for, for Transport Safety in, in the province of KwaZulu Natal is here uh, with us and we'll see if we can get a comment, just uh, a word from her as, he, as she has just uh, arrived uh, with a number of uh, police uh, who are taking her through about what really what could have transpired here uh, we are told that uh, five people or oh, they found five bodies lying in a pool of blood inside one of the shipping containers and one of the bodies was apparently lying just here as Babu Matebula is showing you so that was the sixth body that was found uh, lying here in a pool of blood I can also say that uh, According to the witnesses' account, uh, five people were found inside a shipping container, had been shot execution style or at a very close range. But one or the sixth one uh, whose body was apparently found lying here in a pool of blood was actually found in this area of Savannah Park in Marion Hill, just west of Durban. So the MEC is here just to get uh, perhaps a proper analysis uh, from the police generals, including uh, the police commissioner in the province of KwaZulu Natal, and General um, Kwanazi, uh, who is also uh, leading uh, the police here, who did say that he will also avail uh, all the resources in order to ensure that they do pin down uh, the perpetrators who apparently fled on foot. Uh, they were here, they were just here in this area of uh, Savannah Park. They then opened fire, uh, killing uh, six people instantly, and the seventh uh, uh, apparently died uh, or succumbed to his injuries at a local hospital. We've also been speaking to a number of I mean, police, I mean, po people here yeah, around this area of Savannah Park who did say that uh, the area is relatively very peaceful, uh, and this incident has apparently shocked them. Let's see uh, if we can get a comment uh, from the MEC herself now, who has just been, who has just arrived here with her team. Uh, thanks a lot, MEC, for your time. This is MEC Peking Konyini for Transport, uh, Community Safety and Liaison in the province of KwaZulu Natal. What have you learned of this incident so far? Let me start off by expressing our heartfelt condolences to all bereaved families. We learned that uh, there was a crime incident that happened here. As you can see, uh, this, this is a container. Um, there is a writing there uh, which indicates that actually it's a tax shop. The name of the tax shop is Kopolozi in this area. So the incident happened around half past six according to the, to the reports that we received from the police yesterday whereby there were about seven people uh, who became victims of an, a shooting incident that happened here. Seemingly uh, someone came here in order to consult a traditional healer uh, who is staying, staying in the area because most of the time the criminals would actually consult 
the traditional healers for cleansing purposes or whatever but most of the time it's called cleansing or ukezwa so he while he was still waiting according to the information that we received then it seems as if there were other people who were actually looking for him who came here uh, looking for him and uh, there were members of this community others are renting uh, we're in a process of renting this container the mzobe family members uh, who lost actually three family members uh, babu mzobe who is 65 year old and and he all and, and two sons were shot were fatally wounded uh, from the scene and then they they were Tracing uh, this criminal who was then shot dead just um, uh, close by, we are the police have now combined a number of teams that are investigating the matter. Right now, uh, we are giving them an opportunity uh, to investigate and then come up with uh, reports that have to do with what was the purpose, you know, of this uh, criminality that happened here. Mm. We've also been speaking to um, the Mzobes who apparently own this shipping container. They were say they are saying they are actually selling alcohol. It is an establishing it's an establishment for al alcohol and also a tax shop on the side. Have you found the very city of these comments of this? Uh, I mean, a response from from this Mzobe family who did confirm that actually they are selling alcohol as well here. We are still going to be consulting the liquor board, the KZN liquor authority that are actually issuing licenses. We have no, um, we have no report of whether this was a, um, an authentic uh, outlet uh, which has got a license uh, to operate. We don't know uh, so far because we have not um, actually followed yet on that particular information. Mm -hmm. So, so wh what have you perhaps uh, gotten as, uh, as far as the perpetrators are concerned? The police are investigating. There are teams that have already been uh, combined by the provincial commissioner. The district teams are here that they are uh, investigating already. The provincial teams are here uh, together with the um, local teams uh, that are under the uh, Marian Hill Police Station, uh, which is uh, led by Kenel Twala. Mm. Uh, are you concerned perhaps about the number of shootings that are happening uh, at, a, a, at such places, which also I mean, sells, sells alcohol as well? Because just three weeks ago, there was another shooting at a tavern in, in, at Sweetwaters. We are very much concerned, and the police have now started to visit all the taverns. Even yesterday, there were operations whereby our police members uh, that are led by various district uh, commissioners were actually in operation um, in various areas throughout the province of Wazunatal. They are tracking um, unregistered uh, uh, outlets uh, like these outlets uh, that are operational here in this area of savannah park and in Anna, in other townships as well they are hard on the ground doing very well uh, we are very proud of our police services thus far uh, of their operations uh, that they are conducting in various areas of the province perhaps lastly on your perhaps um in uh, preliminary investigation you haven't seen some bottles lying mm. around there do you think that, that those comments are could be true that this outlet is also selling liquor even though it's registered or not it might be true yes because there were cases of liquor that were found inside uh, this um, container here but we we were also told that there are other food items uh, that were inside the container, like bread, uh, buns, uh, they are also selling sweets and, and so forth. That is why I'm saying we are not sure whether this was operating as a liquor outlet or just a tuck shop. We are not sure of that. I think you are also not sure of that, except the fact that you saw some bottles of liquor, but there was bread, there, was, there were sweets, you know, they might have been selling more items that we don't know.
Thank you. Thanks. That's uh, MEC for Transport Community Safety in Lezini, the province of KwaZulu Natal. We've also spoken to the Mzobes who are apparently owning a shipping container that was selling alcohol. They did confirm to us yes, that, yes, indeed, they were selling alcohol inside these uh, shipping containers. They are still very trot. We spoke to two family, families which are also uh, related, the Mzobes as well as Kenisa, uh, who's, who have uh, apparently four members of their own who have apparently uh, died here last night, as well as three other people, uh, including uh, Baba uh, Pumlani, uh, who apparently also was inside one of these uh, shipping containers. Uh, they were shot execution style or at a close range. Uh, five of them were found. I mean, their bodies were found inside a container here, and the sixth was lying in a pool of blood just here uh, 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 along this Nile uh, Road found at a Savannah Park. With that said, it's back to you for now. Um, police, as the MEC and also her team, are trying to do their best in order to ensure that uh, uh, the perpetrators are being brought to book. As you may have heard, that the police are on the ground already having launched a, a manhunt in order to ensure that they, uh, they do arrest uh, those uh, responsible for the killing of seven people and the seventh having succumbed to his injuries at a local hospital here at um, a Deben area. Usikumalo will leave you to get back to it. Thank you very much indeed.